Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is called a safe tournament stack. That just means that you can put it in a, like a 100 man or even a hybrid type contest. So you can uh, look to do that if you wanted to enter 10 guys, or whatever it is, and you can um, just do that how you want. So uh, I'm gonna try to build the stack right here. I'm gonna use a draft dashboard and highlight feature this specific tool in order to do it to get your best optimal tournament stack uh, right now. Let's try to do that. Go to lineup optimizer. If you have players watched on this tool here, they're going to come up and make sure that that works here. Now I got to mess around with the internet. Just a moment. As that will come up in another moment here. Try to get this going. Uh, also, by the way, whether you are or not a member of the DFS Army for the, you know, you can get these um, re very highly recommended plays here on uh, look to get, you know, uh, what they call the big board uh, by this guy here. So you can get, you know, um, top optimal recommendations and they're separated according to GPP or tournament cash and the hybrid, like I mentioned that. Uh, hybrid scenario. So here's what we get. We're gonna look to see if we get got any uh, game stacks or other other stacks here going on. We got luck, and um, nobody I don't see stacked with him. Uh, I like to go specifically with the tight end that, of course, has a high upside, such as Ebron right here, and then try to run it back with maybe, which might be a little bit difficult to do with Jacksonville. But let's uh, let's see. I really like this lineup here, though, with uh, oh, the upside of Miller, Mixon, and Lindsey at the running backs. Let's get rid of this defense, perhaps. We can upgrade it. All right, let's try to get a decent defense in there, as there's quite a few options, of course, we can look at. Uh, maybe our best bet out of these options here is the Vikings defense. All right, and then um, let's see what else. Because this is called, it got locked here. It just means there's synergy, synergy between both players. Uh, as far as anybody in Jacksonville, um, keep updated here, by the way, with the injuries. Go here to browse teams, look at the injuries, see what advantage matchups might come about uh, early in the morning or, I'm sorry, uh, in, you know, like 90 minutes before kickoff. So you can get your updates here, like especially on NFL Network, of course, and get those injury updates. Who's question one out. Uh, if that scenario uh, leads to be where it's um, some guys out for the Colts, I'm trying to think, oh, the safety, Malik Cooker, for example. Hey, you want to try to get it uh, going with, uh, uh, let's see, he's actually good for, he actually got good receivers in here for tournaments. Uh, you could, you know, run with these guys, but let's say you want to save some salary. I, I mean, really, though, honestly, this is, is really about as good as a lineup you'll get. Uh, even though the, the defense is kind of skimpy and cheap, but 2100, this is on DraftKings, by the way. Um, you know, honestly, um, this has upside uh, potential right here to do just fine uh, in a tournament because you got enough upside uh, going on here. But, you know, if you wanted to, like I said, I was starting to get into um, go with a Jacksonville receiver. You don't really know who it's going to be. It's really more of a high risk. It's not worth getting into in these type of uh, lineups that you can really um, just get into for the day. So you don't want to game stack it. Just go with something like this. You have a best best chance to win your tournament, all right? So leave you with that info. Leave his draft dashboard. Uh, $1, I believe it is, or a 30-day trial. So you can get pick up this tool right here. So you can get all the uh, info you need to get this uh, these lineups locked for week tw uh, 13, all right? Take